OpenAI just made a huge release for their ChatGPT API, and let's get into the details and why I think this might be bigger than plugins. The first change is on steering. GPT 3.5 Turbo and GPT 4 are getting better steering. If you don't know what steering is, basically, if you ask ChatGPT to follow certain instructions or behave in a certain way, uh, then that is steering. So for example, here, I'm asking to start each word with a capital letter in this article. You can see 3.5 does not do this successfully, but if I look at GPT-4, you can see uh, that ChatGPT uh, or GPT-4 was able to do this successfully. Um, and maybe with these updates on steering, we'll see that 3.5 will actually have better steering as well and do this successfully. Next big thing that's coming out is the 16K token uh, context for 3.5 turbo. So what this means is that before we were limited to 4K, we're going up to 16. So before, um, you know, with the 4K context, we could only give GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 turbo, um, you know, if we're producing one page of text, we could give it, um, you know, four pages. So you could give it, you know, four example articles if you're producing articles, if they're all one page, and it could produce one more before starting to forget the the first article you gave it. Um, or if you ask it to produce, you know, text, it could only produce five pages before it started to, uh, to forget the first thing that it gave you. But now it's going to jump up to 20 pages. So for example, you could give it, you know, 15 articles, uh, example articles that are all one page, and ask it to, to produce five more articles based on those um, that you provided. So now you're gonna be able to provide a lot more context uh, for GPT 3.5 Turbo, and you're gonna see a lot better outputs if you give it more context, which is pretty awesome. With this uh, jump and the token increase, uh, we're also going to see um, some price reductions. Oh, I did want to touch on this right here. So. 16k is only for the api right now not for chat gpt uh, i'm guessing it will come to chat gpt at some point but for now it's just api um, so hopefully that comes soon but with the 16k model there's also some drops in pricing gpt 3.5 turbo the input tokens are going down by 25 percent uh, so it'll be 0 0.0015 uh, per 1k to input tokens 0 0.002 per 1k output tokens and then the 16K model will be double the price. With this, we're also getting a drop in the embedding cost by 75%. Uh, so for some context here, you can embed the entire internet now for 12.5 million, uh, down from 50 million, which is probably pretty reasonable for a lot of larger companies. If you don't know what embeddings are, basically they're used for search, clustering, recommendations, anomaly detection, diversity measurement and classification. Uh, so for example, if you have all these sentences, you can see how closely related each sentence is to the other. A sad boy's walking is pretty close to a little boy's walking. Um, and these sentences right here are closer to a man is walking in the field than they are to there is a dog running past the field. So it can take some pretty complex sentences and figure out how closely related they are so you can imagine that with this huge reduction in price, uh, maybe we'll see a lot more companies coming out with you know, better search tools uh, or better tools in general. Uh, we'll see what comes out, but this is a pretty massive reduction in price. Last but not least, uh, I think this is the most important thing in this release is function calling. Basically what this is going to do is it's going to enable people to make plugins outside of the chat GPT interface, because uh, this is, basically what the ChatGPT plugins do. Uh, as you can see here, see here, if you're developing a plugin, uh, you know, there's some prompts that are created because ChatGPT needs to figure out, uh, based on your prompt, which function to use, which plugin to use, how to actually call the function. So back here, let's look at this example. Uh, you give a list of functions and a user's input. So here we're giving, what is the weather like in Boston? That's the user input. And we're giving it a list of functions. In this case, we're just giving one function, but the function is get current weather. You have a description, uh, you know, all the stuff that's required for ChatGPT plugins. 
you know, the arguments here. And from this, we'll get a nice response that says which function to use and which arguments to pass to it. And before this, you could do this kind of, uh, it was tricky, inconsistent, but now we have a, a, an API that's gonna do all this for us, which will be huge. After you get this response back, then you can actually call your API, call that function. Maybe it's a third party API. Uh, maybe it's one that you've developed, but you know you can use the response from the first API to call your second one. And then you can have the response here, uh, ask ChatGPT to generate a nice uh, you know, summary of that. You know, So you get that response, then you have the weather in Boston is currently sunny with a temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. So I think this will be exciting because we're gonna be seeing a lot more uh, tools developed from this. And I think this is kind of released because there was this article uh, it's now in a taken down blog post saying that chat GPT plugins don't have product market fit. Uh, basically, this means that, you know, they're not taking off. It's kind of an awkward way. To, it's kind of awkward to use them. What we would rather have most likely is that these tools are integrated directly in whatever app you're using. So you don't have to go to chat GPT to use them. You just use them directly in your tool. Uh, and then last but not least, I forget I should touch on this. Uh, if you're using these APIs, you should note that you're not gonna be upgraded immediately. So on June 27th, the GPT-3.5-3.5 Turbo GPT-4 models, um, those will automatically be upgraded to these new models. Uh, if you wanna keep using the old ones, you wanna switch to these, and I'll link this in the description, but you'll wanna use these if you wanna keep using the old models. Um, these will be available through the 13th. So eventually you will have to upgrade. But I should note that, you know, if you want to upgrade, you actually have to do it manually to upgrade immediately right now, or you'll be automatically upgraded to June on June 27th.